This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Babies incinerated to heat UK hospitals. Soylent Green, ladies and gentlemen, is made out of people. But now children are literally being passed through the furnace in order to fuel hospitals in the UK. They're being sacrificed on the altar of efficiency and prosperity. What is the secret of Soylent? The powdered flesh from dead babies. Some people believe they can cure disease. Because of its enormous popularity, Soylent Green is in short supply. Remember, Tuesday is Soylent Green Day. The supply of Soylent Green has been exhausted. You must evacuate the area. Today is Tuesday! The federal court ruled that the shareholders of PepsiCo, big Bilderberg Group company, are not allowed to know uh, what they're using the baby parts for in the flavoring, but we already know. So enjoy the flavor. We're going to get the real solution, which is going to be a combination of death panels and, and sales taxes. I'm consistently pro-death. I'm for assisted suicide. I'm for regular suicide. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. Is spending a million dollars on that last three months of life for that patient, would it be better not to lay off the, those 10 teachers and to make that trade up in medical costs. But that's called the death panel, uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. They told me to, uh, to say that they were sorry, but that you had become unreliable. <laughs> Is this the kind of society that you want to live in? Any kind of society that would do this to its children will do it to its senior citizens. 
it will do it to its dissidents. That kind of society will also eventually turn on its police, on its army, on its prison guards, on the quislings and the collaborators who make that possible. This is nothing but a suicide cult. The scoops are on their way. The scoops are on their way. I repeat, the scoops are on their way. You will find out why Soylent Green means life. You will find out why Soylent Green means death. We gotta stop them! What is the secret of Soylent Green? Soylent Green is people! They'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You've got to tell them. You've got to tell them. You've got to tell them out there. Very powerful piece. It'll be going up on Infowars.com in the next 20 minutes. We'll also tweet it at Real Alex Jones and post it top of the page Facebook. Great job, uh, Darren McBreen, putting that piece together. And it says it all. And when I come in and see a piece like that he did in the last three or four days um, that I collaborated with him on, and, and it just absolutely is like winning the Super Bowl for me because I just dream of trying to illustrate to people how much trouble we're in because we can then fix it. You got to tell them. Soon they'll be breeding us like cattle. Silent green, it's made out of people. The New World Order is made out of people. It's making us ugly. It's making culture bad, so we will accept being killed. It's a very dark, wicked logic the globalists have, but they have to dehumanize us first and have us accept them killing us and believe we're ugly and believe we're bad and believe we're crud before they can do it. The vampire has to get permission to come in. It needs you to invite it in. It needs you to give it sucker. It needs you to give it truck. It needs you to give it countenance, table, to be aided, to be abetted. And America has let it in, haven't we? Were we not the castle on the hill? Great evil abided here, but also a great spirit of exploration, a great spirit of building, a great spirit of liberty, a great spirit of renaissance. And where the flower of liberty is, there is the spirit of God. The enemy will have its battle here in North America. The fight for the future of the planet is taking place here now. The rest of the world's incredibly important. But the elite see the United States as the new Atlantis. They believe the future is set. The destiny of what we do, it's so important. We don't just fight for our republic. We don't just fight for our children. We don't just fight for ourselves. We fight against a spirit of anti-human garbage. I don't wanna be part of that spirit. I don't wanna see others as something that's making me weak. I wanna see others as something that are built up to make me stronger. It's the feeling of honor, the feeling of kinship, the feeling of everything our ancestors did before us. The establishment is attacking the human genome on record to destroy the encoded race memories, the epigenetics that are 100% documented from every angle. They are attempting to savage the incredible honor that is the human species. The incredible struggle and the survival and everything we carry with us. We are our ancestors. I do not believe in reincarnation in the classical Hindu or Buddhist sense. I believe in the scientific fact, but what I've also physically experienced, that I am one man set and destined to live but once. But I am the genetic code of all of my ancestors and their experiences and their key memories crystallized physically in that 98% of the DNA that the scientists told us was garbage. They now know it is encoded memories and genetics carrying the emergency lifeboats of our species into the future, into space. And that's what I want is a victory for the species. 
a victory. The churches keep this secret from you. That is their job. The preachers don't know, ladies and gentlemen. The eye has not seen, the ear has not heard what God has in store for us. But these preachers, in their limited view, give you some 17th century or 15th century skewed human view of something that can only be experienced and known in the spirit and integrating that with the mysteries and the science that the eye has not seen, ear has not heard. Imagine someone 2,000 years ago seeing what's going on today. It would be a fantastic vision, unrivaled. It would be John the Revelator on the Isle of Patmos. Think about it. Made in the image of the universal creator. That's heavy. And they would say, the establishment, oh, you're crud. Humans are nothing but dumb animals. Yeah, right. That create spaceships and atomic weapons and hydrogen bombs and poetry. You know, I want to play Child Rolling to the Dark Tower came. And if you type that into YouTube, I'll show you the version I want. I want to play it later after I take calls. Let me just show you the version. I keep meaning to play this. And um, to the dark tower came. It's the military, cultural, mm, chivalry experience of the French. Beowulf is to the Vikings and the English. El Cid to the Spanish. My first thought was he lied in every word. That horny cripple with malicious eye askance to watch the working of his lie upon mine. And mouth scare able to afford suppression of glee that pursed and score its edge as one more victim gained thereby. That's what people think when they first hear me. The young man starting out on his journey to become a man, to become a knight, sees the old man pointing the way. The old man is him. The old man tells him the challenge of life and tells him the fraud of the common world. And the man tells the truth, but the youth thinks he lies. And he was an old cripple with bloody eyes through the storms of life. To the dark tower came, and Dauntless lifted the slug horn to his lips in blue. Child Roland of the dark tower came. It says everything in that poem. It's a long poem. I'm not going to read the whole thing on air, but I'll play it later if I have time. Dauntless lifted the slug horn to his lips in blue. All right, let me get back to the news here. The whole point is, I celebrate life. I celebrate honor. I celebrate being true. And that's why the whole enemy and the whole system does everything they can and edits my voice and does everything to say I am dishonorable. But I will tell you I am as honorable as they come and still I am dishonorable. And I am ashamed of my dishonor. And I expect to go through the test to prove my honor as my ancestors did and pass on my genetics forward into the future. And it is in the rediscovery of being honorable that we will be fulfilled. And that is our future. If we take our destiny in our hands, instead of letting the establishment tell us our destiny in every dystopic sci-fi film and every cultural weapon formed against us to tell us we are ugly and broken and gone and have no future. That is a giant fraud. Now let's go to the scientific working of the lie in manifest pure evil that the Democratic Party has now engaged in. I watch other governments, and the only governments I see that lie at this level are the North Koreans. People say, well, why are the lies so over the top and so ridiculous? That is a tool employed in Soviet mind control. I'm not saying this conspiracy is Soviet. Soviet was a technology developed in the West, visited as a plague upon the poor Russians and then their victims after their country was used in the exploitation phase to take down the next dominant.